Mike here, guys. Welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided, my new series. It's uh, It's been a while since the last stealth game. I think it's been, uh, what? What was my last stealth game? Maybe We Happy Few? Is that considered a stealth game? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for this one. Deus Ex has been uh, a game series I've never played ever in my life, so this is my first experience in Adam Jensen's shoes, so I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I absolutely love stealth games, so anyways, I love you guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Helps me out a lot, and if you want more of this, you know what to do. Drop that comment, and uh, I want to know if you guys have played the other games, or if you have this game, and what you thought about the other games, or just anything, really. Uh, <laughs> just go at it in the comments. Anyways, uh, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get started. I'm excited. Let's get going. Okay, guys, so here we are at the uh, little difficulty menu. It's got a couple here. It's got give me a story, give me a challenge, and give me Deus Ex. I never asked for this. It's not unlocked, but I'm guessing that's like kind of like a new game plus, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go with default one, give me a challenge, because I'm probably going to end up sucking at the beginning. Uh, so I I'm just good for the regular, the regular normal difficulty here. And, uh, okay, so we got control scheme. Let's see, Mankind Divide, you enjoy playing games as they were designed to be played. That one looks a little weird, to be honest, doesn't it? I guess I'll go with standard. Standard's a good standard. Here we go. And uh, recap video. Okay, yeah, guys, this is what I was talking about. This is the recap video, so I will definitely show on the screen right now what time uh, the actual game starts, so you can skip to that if you want. I, however, am going to watch this uh, for people who haven't seen the last game as well as myself. Uh, so let's uh, let's do it. The year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging. Half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. Brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of black op mercenaries stormed into Sarah headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarif's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Sarif Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation. They claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarif's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarif sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Sarif ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Sarif's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the Og's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hey, 
Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the triads, anxious organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, and turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn. Eliza Kassan, Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up, looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I'd crossed paths with twice before. Fedorova. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Picus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Picus' first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies to help stop a possible regulatory vote. 
Seraph had a lot riding on Daryl. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this, and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering Hengsha's airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into Laura Hengsha. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads. Or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a Bell Tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there and using them to perfect the Hyron project a human-computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who'd put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao, and was hoping to catch me off guard. But their little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Seraph had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. Another augmented terror attack, 
251 passengers aboard Sister Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. <laughs> Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go and embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you! We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding? That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor. Inside the hotel's main atrium, he sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be you sure. You mean like guns? Human hardware? Okay, the graphics just got better. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're gonna do non-lethal, guys. I'm a good guy. I'm the good Adam. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Distance weapon, tranquilizer rifle, short range weapon, stun gun. I'll take a distance, why not? I love me some well, distance. I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. 
Husk force actual. This is knife leader. Engage Husk drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team Leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. So I can throw shit? Are you kidding? Check that out. Alright guys, well, yeah, my first experience in Adam Jensen's shoes. I'm saying this looks pretty awesome. I gotta say, I'm liking it. Like of the look. I think they worked on this game for like a few years. And, uh, I don't know. It should be a sequel, so we'll see what happens here, but... Oh, shit. That was the right way to, <laughs> the right way to land, right? Fucking... What is this? A saw? Jesus Christ. You can really throw anything, can't you? Going through, uh, ventilations like Batman. Holy shit. I just punched that shit open. Okay. More throwable objects. I'm excited to see what this is all about, guys, because I have, like, no idea how this game plays or anything, so... Super blind let's play, I guess you can go. Whoa! You know, this probably used to be a nice-ass hotel when it was, uh, still up and running, you know? Damn, the world is fucked up in 2029, man. Okay, let's, uh, I guess move these? Okay. I can do that! Throw that shit! I can do that too! And one more. We probably don't need to move it, but fuck it. There we- What the fuck did I- I covered it even more! There we go. Alright, Adam. Let's go. Okay, where to now? Up there? I can do that. Jensen, we're moving through- Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, McCready, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, pissed off at me. Well, I guess he doesn't like the color red that much. Okay, there's a dead dude right here. What happened to him? Not quite sure what the fuck is wrong with him. Empty. Well, of course he is. God damn, I wonder what the loot's like in this game. Can we actually, like, ooh, credit chip, okay? What does that give me, then? All right, I got it. It looks like I picked that shit up. All right, let's uh, keep going here. Where to next? Hold Y, open inventory. Okay, augmented wheel. Okay, equip smart vision. Press down on the D-pad to assign B to exit. So, down? Wait, smart vision now down? Aha, I see. I see how that's working. All right. So what does that give us? Kind of like focus mode from Hitman? Okay, I could fuck with it. Let's see, weakness. What are we gonna do? Whoa! Shit, that's what I call strength right there. Jeez. God damn, a human just punched a goddamn concrete wall. Well, I guess his arm isn't human. It's kind of like, we're in an augmented reality, so a lot of people are half human, half uh, robot. What is this? Oh, it's kind of like the, uh, switching the, uh, the, the, the settings on the gun, I guess. This is really cool, man. I like it so far. It's looking nice. I love how it's really focused on stealth, so that's gonna be cool. I love being a sneaky motherfucker around in video games. Restore the power to the keypad, okay? Which way? This way, then? Looks to be. Okay, where are we going? Guys, I'm gonna do my best to do, like, non-lethal throughout this playthrough as well. <laughs> I might have some mixed, uh, mixed decisions here, but we'll see, I guess. Well, that's not probably the smartest way to go. 
Where else can I get the fuck out of here from? Up there? I'm gonna have to go back the way I came. Alright then! Boom! Still trying to get used to the controls. I chose the standard. It's like the standard first-person shooter controls. That's how it goes. Alright. Keypad. What's the passcode? Can I hack? Let's see. Okay, what's this? Use L to move the node ahead. Alright. So, fortify? Plus one. Capture nodes. So that's, uh, press A. Okay, directory. Anomaly detected. Oh, fuck. What'd I do? Trace program initiated. What the fuck did I do? Oh, shit. L to capture before time runs out. Capture what? This? Capture. Okay, we got 20 seconds. I think we're alright, guys. I think we'll be okay. Hurry the fuck up. God damn it. Uh, okay, fortified. Gotcha. Shit, how many do I have to capture? Granted. Thank you. Oh, thank you, nice lady. That was a relief, because I could have really fucked the mission up there if I didn't screw if I screwed up. Well, alright. Finally. Tutorial mode. I guess we'll do tutorial mode considering I'm new to this. Let's see here. Move to the green hologram, press LB to take cover. Got it! Aim at the cover next to the green hologram with R, A, and move your current. Okay. There we go! I like that, man. It's like Splinter Cell. I can work with this. Okay, move L in the direction of the green hologram, A to roll cover to cover. I got it. I got it! And I'm guessing hold A just means go around the corner. There we go. I got you. Oh, fuck. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stay stealth, Mike. You don't want to fuck this up, do you? Okay, uh, LB again. That's good. Alright, uh, so do I go to there now? Okay, I gotta go to that hologram. Hold on. Go, go! Made it. Let's do that. Use R to aim at the green hologram, A to run out of cover. Okay, so, uh, is this guy gonna see me, though? That's the thing. Tutorial completed. Let's exit. Yeah, okay. I, I learned the basics, guys. Hopefully we don't fuck up here. Let's take cover again. Take this guy out stealth, probably with my bare hands. Get a first takedown going. Oh shit, I hope this goes well. I'm gonna have to get used to these controls as well. I'm not used to this, man. Alright, so let's do it. Not lethal! Non lethal! Wait, did I hold it down though? Was that non lethal, right? That was non lethal, right? I can't tell if I held down the right stick or just clicked it, man. I hope that was right. Alright, how many we got? Is there a way? Okay. Smart vision. Alright, we got a dude right there, hostile. I think he's the only one. So let's take him out. Shoot him in the head? Oh shit, no, we got two. We got two in this bitch. There's a guy on the far side. Okay, well, it looks like they give us some paths uh, for the stealthies. I swear to God, that thing just goddamn moved on its own. I guess I'll just, uh... Okay, so that guy's walking over there. Maybe I should wait, or just... Is there an option to sneak by them? Oh, shit, they are searching. Okay, I guess I'll sneak by them then. Or do I have to kill them? I don't think I do. Alright, I get to get to there. Maybe this way's the way? Or can I go... Okay, this this looks to be it. Hopefully I don't come back here. Man. Am I gonna have to hack that again? Or can I not? There's any other way to get up there? Uh, let's see. I'm so fucking clueless right now, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm trying to find another way to get up there, though. See if there is one. Let's climb that. Searching completion. Almost at 100%. So I guess uh, they'll stop searching when that's gone? I hope that's the case, man. i shit myself later if that ain't. Oh shit. Go to sleep! Oh, he almost saw me too. And I tried to shoot him and I fucked up. He should die from that. Or get... Oh, did that guy go to sleep? Did they both go to sleep? Are they asleep? Oh! They're asleep! Oh, have sweet dreams, fellas, fellas, fellas. You're lucky I didn't snap your head off. Because if this were Hitman, you'd be fucked out of your mind. That sounded weird, but you know the gist, okay? Okay, I don't need that. Let's check these guys. See if they have, like, the key or whatever. I'll take that. Is that ammo? Thank you very much. What about this dude? What do you got for me, bruh? Okay. 
Okay, this looks to be the way. Current floor, where do I want to go? Penthouses or rooftops? I'm not... Oh, okay. We're on the rooftops. So let's go penthouses, I guess. <laughs> now, do I have a pistol? Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. Okay, well, uh, hopefully we don't get caught up in that. That wouldn't be good. Okay, elevator, where are you taking us? Okay, tutorial mode. Should I do the tutorial for stealth? I think I should. I gotta learn everything, guys. I really do. I'm still kind of close on what we're doing here. Uh, reach the holograms. Okay, okay. Activate glass shield cloaking. So that makes me invisible. Good to know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Activate leg silence augmentation. Wait, you can actually fucking do that? To make your legs completely silent? That's awesome. <laughs> Snake never had that in Metal Gear Solid, did he? I don't know. Maybe he did. Who knows? Okay, pick up. So go here. I'm good. I am good. Okay, restarting this. So should we become invisible? Let's get behind here. See if we can scan the area. We got two hostiles in here. I guess I could take this guy out first. He's gonna meet his maker. All right, let's try to let's try to get cover to cover here. Go, Adam. What the fuck? He didn't hear me, did he? He just completely leaped off that thing. All right, uh, as far as I remember, that is augmentation. This is the cloak. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. Okay, let's move out. Move, Adam. Move, move, move. All right, I'll take that guy out first. Let's see. Shoot him in the head. Wait a minute. You know, I'm wondering if um, a headshot will put him to sleep right away because I remember before it took a little bit of time. Okay, it looks like it's the same gist, but he ain't getting up anytime soon now, is he? Let's go take out this other asshole. Go to sleep, fella boy. Oh my god, we got two over here. Okay, well, I see uh, a ventilation. So that might be what we're gonna do. Just really quickly just sneak by, don't mind me. Okay, I probably should do invincibility <laughs> just in case. There it is. How do I get up there? Can I jump from that? <gasps> Holy shit, Adam, you've got ups. My goodness. Damn, those are legs of fucking Lance Armstrong, man. Jeez, bike rider. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's told a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit... Shit, should we, uh... Fuck it. I hear the fan in 27. The rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. I love Adam already, guys. Not sure about McCready. He's kind of a dick, to be honest. Well, well maybe, maybe we'll grow on him. Who knows, really? Alright, well, what do we got here? Oh my goodness, look at all them. So can I get through here without even taking any of them out? I think that's even a thing. There's so many possibilities. Alright, well, hopefully we don't fuck up. That's the one thing I don't want to do right now. It's time to cloak ourselves. Here we go. How long does this last exactly? Alright, well, we're just going to keep moving up. Guys, I'm probably not going to play this the best efficient way, so... If you're looking for the best Deus Ex playthrough, I suggest... Uh, um, clicking this video off now, because, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just going to keep uh, sneaking by, see what happens. Okay, I guess I'll take him out. This guy. This guy. Uh-oh. Take him out! My goodness. Sit down, bitch! I love the cinematic takedowns. That's awesome. Pretty cool how they implement that with the gameplay. Jensen, what's your 20? Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Roger that, McCready. Was that McCready talking? I didn't even look. Sounded like McCready. Okay, that looks to be toxin. That is not very nice now, is it? So, I'm probably going to avoid that at all costs here. I wonder if I can make that jump. I don't know if I should go this way, to be honest. Look at this. What will happen if I go down here? Oh, fuck. 
In there quickly, Adam! Should be good in here. Alright, we're good. Beautiful. Making ways, guys. Doing good so far. Haven't fucked up yet. Alright. Uh... Alright, we got a bunch over here. We gotta get to there. 113 meters. Got it. Let's go. I guess I'll take the high ground. That always works. Okay. Cloak it. Cloak it up. Clad it. Climb it. Climb the ladder like Spider-Man. Okay, we got it. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Oh. Ah! No, I fucked up. All right, guys, take two. Here we go. I really hope I don't fuck up this time, man. So that guy turned around before and saw me. I just gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, maybe wait till he leaves? I don't know what the fuck's the deal. Can I shoot him? Let's see what happens if I do that. That's good. Cool. Merciful soul. Alright, moving up. Take two here. Hopefully don't fuck up again. How many we got? One, two, three, four. Oh shit, is a guy coming in? I think he saw something. Oh, they're suspicious. Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Sing any second. Khalil, the guy who is going to get out of here is going to get out of here. I'm going to tell the people that I'm going to get out of here. And let them be waiting for you. The patch is clean. Solid copy. Good. I'll re-patch us once the deal kicks off. That's probably not the smartest way to go. I'm going to get out of here. Oh my god, they're on the move. Guys, I uh, I haven't been spotted yet, but they're definitely suspicious, so I gotta really step my game up here. Let's get stealth back. That seems to be like really low on, on, I guess, like fuel, you could call it, I guess. Stealth fuel. I'm just trying to get to there. We're so close, man. We're so close. Alright, I got this. Don't fuck up. I got this. Don't you worry. Okay, what do we got? Alright, a couple. Couple enemies. Too bad they're on the move because then I could have just walked right in here. Shit, I almost got spotted. Alright, let's get in there. Let's get in that vent. Let's see what happens. Come on. Go, Adam, go! Get in there, buddy. Good job. Back in the vents. I feel safe. I feel safe now. Okay, where are we going? Jensen, we're inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. Well, hurry the fuck up. Enemy uh -oh. heroes inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Negative. Didn't find it. Well, you better hope Singh's cover stays intact. Otherwise, you'll be answering to me. Shit. I didn't see these guys, man. Fucked up again. Can you go to sleep? Shit. This is not good. I'm gonna lose so much fucking ammo. So much fucking points. Oh. 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 I'm not just gonna run and run. I'm just gonna run, dude. Fuck that. Oh, I have to hack that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, is this the last guy? I think I got him. Okay, is that it? Please, tell me that's it. God, I, God damn it, I really wish I didn't do that. <laughs> to think I was gonna do this all stealth, man. Alright, well, I think we got him. Let's go. Passcode. Let's hack it. Hopefully we don't fuck up this time. Let's see. Fortify... All right, we got to capture now. Capture it. There you go. Fortify that. Okay, now I capture that. Fortify that shit. Right now. Next one. Shit, we got a lot of time for this. So I guess when you get to the green, it's all good. Access got it. Yes. Are they still coming for me? Oh my god, they are. Fuck, get in there. Cue the cutscene. This is Jensen. Penthouse access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. Strike force, position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, Brown knows. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. 
Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Targets in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh. Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. How biblical. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash, quick, and we'll... Oh, what the...? Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the gin. Repeat, it's not the gin. <laughs> They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our- Free. Make it a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! I got it. All right, we got this, baby. Come on, Jensen. This we can do this. Secondary gem, the signal again. booster. We're gonna lose Sing. Jensen, I can't reach him. Okay. What does this do? What the fuck did I just do? Oops. I don't think I meant to do that. What the hell was that? All right, here we go. Oh, that was so sick. Holy shit. You guys see that landing? Jensen, this sandstorm might have just bought us some time, but you need to disable that chopper. Come I got it. Don't you worry, man. Alright, well, we got a lot of augmented dudes here. Pretty much bad news. I'm not sure I'm going to do this. I don't even know if stealth is an option right now, to be honest. Oh, shit. I mean, they're going to see me. Sandstorm, I can't see shit myself. I guess I'll jump down. Get back and stealth at them. Alright, let's take cover. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It's a good thing we have this vision, otherwise we'd be completely fucked. Whoa! Whoa! Gah! The fuck? I can't take him down! Why can't it do it? Oh no! What the? Okay, he's asleep. Good. Well, the good thing is, I mean, they know I'm here, but they I don't think they can see me. I mean, they kind of can. Unless they have special... I'm gonna fucking run. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run. Oh, goodness. Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Run there. Run there, baby. Stop the chopper from escaping. How do I do that? How do I do that? Wait. Okay, good. Open that hatch. Miller, chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome. Shit. Another terrorist attack, this time in a police station. 
United Nations Security Council has passed. A new anti-terrorist intelligence and response team will have global task force 29. Agent Jensen. I won't let it happen again. Well, guys, apologies for that ass gameplay. It's so late, and I, I really haven't played a game like this in quite a while. Like, this is so new to me. Um, that was probably one of the worst stealth playthroughs I've done so far. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary in this video. I'm super tired right now, so I'm probably going to go to bed after editing this video. Um, but you know what to do if you want more of Deus Ex. Please leave a comment and drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to like this game, guys. It's pretty awesome so far. I'm excited to see more of Jensen's story. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.